Hi, my name is Rebecca from PTC, and today I'm going to be showing you how to format numerical results in PTC MathCAD. I will go through the settings for result format, display precision, showing trailing zeros, and complex values. For more info on complex values, check out our complex number functions in MathCAD Prime video located on our YouTube channel. Here you can see I have an example problem. The highlighted values below are the results of the problem, and I will show you how to go through these values and format them to the display of your choice. The numerical formatting can be found in the Math Formatting tab in the Results section here. Results format has five options to choose from. General, which is the results are displayed in exponential notation when the exponential threshold of three is exceeded. Decimal, which is when results are never in exponential notation. Scientific, which is when results are always in exponential notation. Engineering, which is when the results are always in exponential notation and the exponents are multiples of three. As well as percent, which changes the value to a percentage. This formatting can be set for an entire page or for an individual result. For example, if we only want the percent change variable to be represented as a percent, we can click here and customize the specific settings. It will not be affected by the page settings unless we clear this. The decimal precision can be set from a range of values from 0 to 15. And you can also choose to display the trailing zeros by clicking this button. Notice now when we change the page settings, only the values highlighted in yellow update since we put specific formatting on the percent change variable. You can clear the page formatting by clicking on the page and selecting Clear Format. If you wish to clear settings on a specific value, you can click the value and clear those settings as well. Finally, you can change the form of a complex number. It can be represented in a Cartesian form where it will display the real and imaginary part of the number by using i or j as imaginary units. Or it can also be represented in polar form where the magnitude and angle is displayed in either radians or degrees. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and look out for more YouTube videos.